Ultimately, the Communist Party of China succeeded in their revolution and founded the People's Republic of China in 1949. The Chinese people have stood up. This marked the ultimate transformation of China, from thousands of years of rule under feudal autocracy to a nation governed by the Chinese people themselves. China's constitution describes itself as a socialist country governed by a people's democratic dictatorship that is led by the working class and based on an alliance of workers and peasants. In a government white paper titled China, Democracy That Works, it is explained that democracy and dictatorship appear to be a contradiction in terms, but together they ensure the people's status as masters of the country. Since its founding, China has not stopped developing and advancing the political structure, economic foundation, legal principles, and institutional framework for the people to run their country. If you look at the different types of democracies, the, if, if you take from the point of view of China, from the point of view that the society is going forward, not merely by all its objective indicators of its living standards, its life expectancy. Well, there's no one uh, kind of democracy. If you compare uh, Britain, the United States, uh, India, um, they all say democracy, but what they mean is it's supposed to be for the will of the people. What's unique about the Western democracy is it's always this idea that it's a ballot box and that you can change governments. But changing governments, unfortunately, does not necessarily change realities. So there are different ways of expressing democracy, but I always say that it's representative government. It's government for the majority of the people.